another episode of March Madness. So today is an exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys my foundation collection. And I couldn't fit all of my foundations in this video, so I just decided to pick nine high-end and nine drugstore to show you guys. And also, I know today is Friday and it's supposed to be Foundation Friday where I review foundation, but I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys... Um, my foundations and my collection that I have and then from there you guys can pick out um, the foundations that you would like to see a review of so I'm gonna show you the foundations and you're welcome to leave a comment right down below and tell me what foundation we like to see me review in the next foundation Friday video so let's get started we're gonna start with the foundation that I'm wearing right now which is this one this is the newest addition to my foundation collection this is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream this is what it looks like this is my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation right now. Um, I just got this uh, about a week now. No, not even a week. I've been wearing it for about a week, but I officially purchased it um, a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, I've been wearing it, and I finally decided to go ahead and purchase it. This is the Becca brand is fairly new to me. It's amazing. The only thing that I can the only way that I can tell you guys about it is that this is kind of like the Kat Von D foundation, like a really thick full coverage foundation, except this is way lighter on the skin. Like it feels like I have nothing on my face right now. I forget I have it on. It's so love this foundation. You guys have to check this out and I would love to do a review on this. So if you want to see one, comment down below. Next one that I have, which is my favorite drugstore foundation, you guys know this by now, it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This foundation is amazing quality for a drugstore foundation. I have repurchased this over and over again and I absolutely love it. Next one is one that I don't enjoy so much. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and I love that it has a pump. But I don't like it so much. It applies super wet on the face and I hate foundations that apply super wet. And I just feel like it doesn't dry down fast enough. And also the color selection is weird. This is NW45. And when I put it on my face, it looks kind of pink and weird. I don't really enjoy this one now. Next one we're going to talk about is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is another awesome, lightweight, um, medium coverage foundation. And the color range in this is not awesome. They only have a few darker shades, which is not cool at all. Um, but this one that I have is in, I think it's cappuccino or something. Yeah, I have it in 290 cappuccino. And this is a good uh, like summer foundation, spring. It's very lightweight, medium coverage. Really good, and I have oily skin, and it works pretty well with me. The next foundation that I have is one that I've talked about countless of times, which is the Kat Von D foundation. I am in shade uh, Deep 68, which uh, this shade, they don't make this shade anymore. This is the one that I really, really like. This is a very, very, very thick and full coverage foundation. This one is more of a heavier foundation, so you definitely feel it more on your face when you're wearing it. Next foundation that I have is not really a foundation, it's more like a BB cream. It is the Iman, the Iman BB Skin Tone Evener BB Cream. This is what it looks like. I do enjoy this. I wear this one mostly during the spring and summer months, especially when it's really hot and I'm just running out and I don't want anything too heavy on my face. Um, I would say it has about a light to medium coverage. Um, this is not a foundation that I wear when I want something that's going to stay on a really long time or something when I want my face to look really perfect. Um, so I wear this one on a like a grocery store kind of a errand running type of things. My other MAC one, which is the Studio Fix Fluid. Now, I've been wearing the Studio Fix Fluid for a really long time. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it. There are months when I adore it, and then there's times when I can't stand it. Um, I'm in NW45. It's um, a full coverage foundation. Um, I just feel like... Um, my skin doesn't love this foundation. I have a very resilient skin. Nothing breaks me out. But whenever I wear this foundation, I get dark spots. So I'm not sure what's what's going on. I've been trying to kind of wean myself away from the MAC foundations. But I still hang on to this one because I quite like it. Next one we're going to talk about is the Black Opal Liquid Foundation. Oil-free liquid foundation. That's what, what this one looks like. Um, 
this is another great 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 drugstore one this is great for women of color it has a full wide range of color for uh, deeper skin tone women um, i absolutely love this foundation i'm in color beautiful bronze and i've been wearing this one for about a month now on and off um, it, it's semi long wearing you can wear it for about eight hours without retouching it or anything um, so yeah it's a pretty decent drugstore foundation next one this is the Lancome Tenty Doll. Uh, I am in color Sweet 2. And I've had this one for a while. I don't even know when's the last time I wore this one. Um, I still have a lot left in here. Um, I used to love this. Um, for some reason, I, I haven't worn it in a long time. Um, but this one, when I remember wearing it, I remember that it was a full coverage foundation. It lasted all all day a really long time so this is an okay foundation it's full coverage um, it lasts long it's really good from what I remember I haven't worn it in probably five months so but from what I remember it is quite a good foundation there's lots of reviews on it here on YouTube it's pretty good next one we're gonna talk about is the Smashbox um, Smashbox camera ready CC cream um, I've talked to you guys about this before I put it in the favorites video the reason why I stay away from CC creams and BB creams, mm, my lips are all sticky. This is why I hate gloss. But the reason why I stay away from CC creams and BB creams is because they don't have much coverage, and I don't see the point of it. I'm spending all this money on something that doesn't even cover anything. So um, I actually really, really like this because it's a dark spot corrector, and it actually works as a dark spot corrector. And it has about a medium coverage, so light to medium coverage. I like it if I'm on the run. I just want something to put on really quick. I, I always reach for this one. That's really all I have to say. It's a really nice a foundation uh, a CC cream it works um, if you like the lighter coverage things you don't like anything too heavy on your face you're gonna love this one next one we're gonna talk about is is um, the covergirl queen collection all day flawless three in one foundation who this is what it looks like I'm in color almond glow and um, I wore this I haven't worn this in a while. I remember I actually really, really like this and I have a review on it, uh, but it is a very good, good foundation. There's, I have a review on it, so I will link it down below if you guys want to go see what I think about this one. Next one we're going to talk about is uh, a new one that I just got. This is the Revlon Photo Ready in Cappuccino, I believe. Am I in Cappuccino and everything? But it's in Cappuccino and it is too, uh, a little bit too dark for me. Uh, but it's better than caramel because caramel was way too light for me. Um, so I actually kind of like this. Um, I'm not going to say it's really long wearing. It looks beautiful in pictures. Um, you do have to set your face if you have oily skin. I would say this is good for like putting it on and then going to like a three, four hour event or something and then taking it off and then taking beautiful pictures with it. Um, I do have oily skin and this worked pretty well for me after setting it with and then using an oil controlling primer. So I actually quite like this foundation for maybe just filming uh, and things like that. So yeah. Next one we're going to talk about is the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. And this is it right here. I do have a review on this and I'll look it down below. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous satin finish foundation. Looks great on the skin. Only downfall is it doesn't have a wide color range. I'm hoping that since so many people love it, Sephora will come out with more colors on this. But um, like I said, I have a review on it, so you guys can go check that out. Next one is another new foundation to my collection. This is the... This is the... This is the... <laughs> Oh my god, sometimes words just get so jumbled up. The Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup. This is what it looks like. When you put it on, it dries down quite quickly, so you need to work very quickly with the Black Radiance Foundation. It is quite a good foundation for the price of it. My color that I have it in is Rum Spice. So I like this one. Again, Rum Spice is a little bit darker than me, uh, but I can always make it work. You know, you can always find your perfect shade, so... I've gotten used to um, working with foundations to make it work for me. Uh, last high-end foundation that I have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have a review on this. I absolutely love this foundation. I think this is the foundation that I'm going to wear on my wedding day. Um, just because it's the one that I have that I can rely on 100%. I don't have to worry about anything when I have this on. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays on. Um, I love this. I have a review on it. It will be linked down below. My last uh, drugstore foundation, because I'm 
going to cut it at this because this video is getting too long. It's the Revlon Color Stay, and I have it in color caramel. And this caramel fits me really well in the uh, winter time, and then it starts being too light when the spring and summer come around. So, nothing to say about this. Um, there's so much that has been said about this foundation, which is the Revlon Color Stay on YouTube. Um, full coverage foundation, covers really well, kind of heavy. Uh, dries quickly you need to work quickly when you're applying it um, Yeah, so that's it for my foundation collection at least the ones that I could fit in this video I hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave down below the foundation that you want to see me review in my next uh, foundation Friday video and um, I will get right on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one